Welcome back to Medina County, Texas, GMRS. This TID radio is out for sale, and it's pretty good. Let's take a look at it and let me know what you think. Are you going to buy one? Are you going to pass? What are you going to do? I'll give you the good, the bads, and the uglies here in just a bit. Thanks for joining. So TID Radio put out for sale the H8 GMRS radio. It looks like it uh, dropped yesterday on Amazon. It is not yet on their website. Um, apparently, it'll be on their website around the 17th. So if you want to wait until they put it on their website, you can use my 20% off coupon that I'll flash up on the screen, and I'll give you a link in the description below. It helps support the channel, so I'll put that out there right now. Uh, pretty shameless about that. Here it is in all its glory. It is advertised as a 10-watt GMRS radio, dual monitoring, gives you your channels here, your, your readout of your channels. When you toggle, it gives you the frequency up top gives you the power meter very nice display um, of course your standard uh, K type jack so take a look that is it we'll go into a little more detail just want to give you a, a glimpse at it first it's a brick right it um, for those of you who have the uh, Wuxun KG 905 G it compares in size to that I wish I had mine out here I would I would put it up against it I have the radio ditty it's about the same height it, it is a little bit thicker though okay um, but if you want to know why let's look at why this will be one of the first kind of weird things I'll show you the battery has a, a clasp on it that you undo the battery with I told them when they let me review this that I didn't necessarily like the clasp simply because there's some wiggle room in the battery. Now, I've had this radio for about six weeks now, been testing it, using it every day, um, and I gave them a lot of feedback, and I'll go over some of that with you on this video, um, but there's a little bit of wiggle room. So to undo the battery, click it, lift up the uh, belt clip. First cool thing, 3,000 milliamp battery. So it is it is pretty thick. I can tell you I've used this radio extensively, and uh, I have not had the battery go dead. Got you a metal-type frame in there. Click that back. Um, this is the antenna that it comes with. I'm not going to go into much what's in the box because since this was a sample radio for me to test um, that they sent me, I mean, they literally gave me the radio, the antenna, the uh, wrist strap, and the charger. Um, this was pre-instruction book or, or anything else. Um, keep in mind, this thing uh, does have uh, Bluetooth programming as well, so we'll get into that. This is the antenna that it comes with. Not real thrilled with it. Um, did some range testing um, with it, of course, from the Honda Airport, about 14 miles away. Um, and just didn't get the clarity I did with this high gain antenna that I've told you all about before. So first things first, let's put the, put the good antenna on it. The gooder antenna on it. Um, so... I'm, and I think we all have a habit. We kind of have our go-to antennas. I mean, this one isn't bad, but I just like this one better. Um, so the Bluetooth programming, let's take a look at that uh, just real quick. Any of you have, who have used um, the OD Master uh, app, um, let's see. OD Master app, where is it? There we go. So we're going to turn it on, we're going to, excuse me, the radio's on, we're going to open up the app, and it just went away. Open up the app, and you hit the BL button. Oh, it was already on. There's the indicator that your Bluetooth is on. And 
as luck would have it, I'm having issues connecting. Pair with the device. All right, there we go. So it recognizes the device. You turn it on. And there you go. You've got to select your model. So TID radio. This particular one is the unlocked version. You will be getting the GMRS only version. And then you click read. And you can see here that it's reading. So this is the same software that they use for the uh, Bluetooth programmer, the TID Radio Bluetooth programmer. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to pick up one of those for any of your other radios. Um, and I'll also link the, the video, my review of the, of, of the Bluetooth programmer, so you can kind of see how, how this works. Um, there are some pros and cons to the OD Master app um, that, that I re cover in that video that you should take a look at. Um, it's not bad to have. It, it's great if you travel a lot with your radio, um, you're wanting to you know add frequencies on the fly, that's an easy way to do it. It's not easy to totally program the radio, though. The last time I checked, which was just a couple of days ago, this was not on Chirp. Okay, so uh, you kind of have to use this. Hopefully, they'll have it on Chirp soon, and so the uh, initial programming will go a lot faster. So on the app, you have to select which channel you want to program. Oh, I already had one in there. It comes with all the GMRS uh, frequencies already on there. Um, here's an open one, channel 87. You plug in your receive, your transmit. Gives you frequency hop, uh, your tones, transmit power, busy lock. You get to add all the good stuff. Then you can go to the next one. After you're done, you just click right, and it will shoot it to the radio. Save and uh, save it to your phone so you can uh, pull it up down the road if anything ever happens to your radio. Um, let's see. It is 199 channels. Uh, that you can program on there and just so I don't screw up what I have programmed in there already I'm going to unpair it and it's it's pretty simple to use um, there was an issue that I believe they've they've corrected um, when you would sync it with Bluetooth it would turn into a single monitor only mode and I believe you had to go to menu option 36 to turn it back these are going to be standard menu options nice bright color screen no issue seeing it in the direct sunlight um, just to scan through a few of the uh, menu options it has a feature called channel hopping um, I don't have a second radio, so I have not been able to test that, but I plan on getting one uh, just to test that out. It does have a, uh, a tone sniffer, so you can sniff the DCS or CTCSS tones. Um, a lot of your basic options that are on these radios. One of the things I do like, they do have this button where you can select uh, the option you want. So I have it on weather. We're here in the shack, so it's uh, it's not picking anything up. Um, you have your programmable side buttons, standard push to talk, VFO mode or not. And then your AB, of course, flips you up and down between your two channels displayed. Um, everything's pretty basic. Let's put this thing on the power meter and see what it's putting out. Once again, advertised as 10 watts. So let's take a look. All right. We've got it hooked up to the watt meter. I am on our little uh, simplex channel that we use, 462.550. Just testing this out with the dummy load. As always, middle set of numbers, advertised as a 10 watt radio. This is high power. So we are looking at 11 watts. Right, yeah, right at 11. Do that again. 
as you can see right at 11 watts so it is it is a beast man um for for the size for the price they're advertising these on their website for 99 bucks and some change um it's definitely going to reach out and touch someone i can tell you we've done some tests with it from inside a few buildings and it is one of the few hts that will punch through uh, you know on these uhf bands um whereas you know the little five waters that aren't kicking five watts will not a few of the other features that um i i didn't point out in the beginning because they're pretty common of course you get your flashlight right minutes well if i could hit the right button you'd get your flashlight there you go get your flashlight your blinking flashlight um so you, you you always get that with one of these radios right now the other cool thing that tid radio did on this and i don't know if you can see it from that angle but the charger has a little cant to it so when it's on the desk it's it's almost facing you head on versus you know sitting this way and the glare you know from the lighting it i know some of these color displays it, you have trouble seeing with the sun i haven't had any trouble with this and i'm telling you i've been carrying it just about every day um i will say with this charger those little those little feet right there are sometimes hard to get in the in the in the in the track so um i wish it had a little more meat behind it where you could just set it down in there real easy i'm always struggling getting it in there um no usb-c or any anything like that it has to be charged on the cradle but let me tell you with a 3000 milliamp battery um it's going to last you a while uh very very impressed with this radio overall um especially if you're looking for you know 11 watts of handheld power you you can't go wrong with it i would highly recommend this radio i think that it uh for 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 the price for the size um the power the features it 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 will work uh it will work well for you dropped it a few times and uh it didn't break didn't come apart nothing bent nothing broke it's uh oh and 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 i didn't even have to use the the b-tech tool to get the to get the uh belt clip on just kidding i i just used a regular screwdriver but i do have it on display see i put it here for i want to plate it in gold and then I think that's the well it won't stay now there we go um let me know what you think overall uh, of it if if you've seen any other reviews or if you have a friend that has one or if you've had the the opportunity to play with one of these let me know what you think i uh, once again i'm very impressed with it this is you know it's probably going to be my hey i got it in the first time this is probably going to be my go-to radio uh, until the next best thing comes out um really really enjoying it especially with the with the power all right well i hope this encourages you to uh take a look or at least consider the tid radio h8 uh gmrs radio i can tell you that uh i don't think you'll be disappointed once again i'll put all the uh links in the description below as to where you can go and get one when they come out use my 20 percent off coupon and help support the channel uh, by picking one up from their website I greatly appreciate y'all watching. I'll be dropping a video pretty soon on uh, some updates that we did on the repeater. Once again, it'll be like update number three. And uh, look forward to hearing y'all's comments on what you think of this and what you think of that. And as always, I hope y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, liking my videos, commenting on my videos, and we will see you soon. Have a good one.